Welcome Virgo. This is going to be your mid-December reading. Let's see what messages are coming in for you guys. We have the Ace of Cups, spirituality and fulfillment. This is all about new beginnings here. We also have the Nine of Swords and the Dawn of Wands. There may be somebody here very curious or something, uh, but we do have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So this is showing a lot of anxiety. You may be dealing with the dark energy here uh, with that shadow. So let's see, let's get more into this Virgo. Once again, the Ace of Cups is in your energy. The, that is beautiful. All right, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Ooh, this person is not thinking very clearly, whoever you're dealing with. Okay. We have the Two of Cups coming into the energy with, there's a change in a connection here. Things are changing for you. Let me just fix that. All right. Things are changing. You are protected, Virgo. Okay. Now the challenge is, is that Four of Wands energy. And the Four of Wands is about relationships, connections, your stability within your home, family, finances, long term. So there is a challenge here with a disharmony within a connection or a situation. I feel like you're having a lot of self-love right now for yourself. And there's a lot of beautiful things coming in that's really fulfilling. So this person here with the Seven of Pentacles is showing uh, some type of impatience, investing, but let's see, because they are thinking with that Seven of Swords and something in is, is coming pretty fast. This is kind of like an impulsive, rushy energy. In the near future, we do have the hair fin. So this is absolutely beautiful. You're on a very spiritual path here. You see things very clearly and you're operating from your highest self. The hermit is showing some type of withdrawal and going within regarding the situation or this connection. But there is something changing after delays. And we have your energy with the queen of pentacles. Again, beautiful, that is you, that's the overall energy. So this is you grounding yourself here, okay? Being patient, still being loving. This is self-made abundant energy. A lot of strength coming from you. Let's get right in here with that seven of pentacles. See why this person's coming in so quickly, so fast. All right, I have to shuffle this one more time, guys. Sorry about that. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming into the reverse. Now there is an energy that is very emotional and very much stuck in a situation. Someone here is hard to unstuck themselves, whoever this may be. Let's get your energy here. Mm. Yeah, but you're feeling some deceit here about an offer or a message or something that was promised to you. The Seven of Swords is not trusting an offer, trusting a message or someone what someone's saying here. Okay, yeah, the Chariot. You either could be seeing that this person is going down the wrong path or that they are stuck, but there's something here that I feel um, that you're you're seeing that something stuck. Okay, this is having the willpower to overcome something here too. Here, uh, Virgo. What is this Four of Wands and the challenge for Virgo, please? The challenge. Someone is not seeing very clearly, or someone's not speaking the truth, saying the truth. The Three of Wands is first. This is causing a lot of dis delays. Is this honesty? Not getting the full uh, picture of something. Okay, we have the star. This is about wishes, having faith and hope. I feel like you're holding back. Okay, I feel that if this person doesn't give you the truth or if they're not clear or being honest about something, because you are getting clarity, you are operating from that more of that higher level of consciousness. Okay, so you're going to be able to see where someone is operating from and stemming from. And from the looks of it in the past, I feel that you are, you may have walked away or detached yourself emotionally from the situation due to lack of clarity or lack of truth. 
Someone here with the page of wands is coming into the reverse. So there may be somebody here that wants to is wants to come towards you as a message, but it is showing kind of immaturity when um, communicating this person. All right, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have um, uh, a fire energy. Someone is not taking accountability for their actions, even though things are being revealed. A lot of uncertainty coming from this person. Justice is someone's being unfair. So, a seven of Swords, once again, is deceit. Someone wearing a false mask. And they want to come in, but they're not taking accountability. There's an injustice here in this person. With this person. Their thinking is very... Uh, out of balance victim victim mentality with that justice card page of cups they want to offer you something fast i don't know what is going on with this page of cups but somebody come to a surprise to you so someone wants to offer you something they want to communicate something to you they're not being honest though they're coming from a deceitful place in their mind and very rushy, impulsive, not really caring about the consequences either. There it is again. There's that message. And it's, and I love that you have your hermit energy coming in here, Virgo. This is powerful. Okay. That you have done a lot of work within yourself. You have, you have rose above things alone in life. Okay. You have reflected on your own self. You have looked in the mirror. You've taken accountability. But this is now you seeing the light and getting a better understanding on who you're dealing with, okay, about the situation. So there's new insight, new perspectives here when this person comes in or communication has happened. And it's very important to continue to stay on this very spiritual path of yours and trust what you're feeling and seeing and continue to be true to yourself and others. Regardless if they're not doing that to you, it, I feel that to handle this in the best way is to operate from your highest self because you are seeing very clearly and you're coming up very wise. Let's get the outcome. King of Swords. Woo! Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone may be heartbroken here or may be uh, very upset because it does show that you're withdrawing from some, somebody here with that King of Swords. Someone that you may see that is uh, being a bit uh, deceitful strategizing, trying to pull a fast one on you in some way. But again, you're standing really, really strong. There is a change coming in, but it's good change. And it has to do with how you're seeing things. And it has to do about your path and your future. So it's important to continue to stand your ground here. And to, again, operate with that hermit energy. Just know that you're wise. Continue to trust your judgment and your own beliefs. Okay? Because you are breaking away from something and you're seeing things for what they are. So you're, I feel like you, with this situation, it's like seeing things that you've never seen before. It's crazy, but it's bringing in a lot of change. Remember, this dark energy is coming in, in wanting to um, message you something, and they're coming in a really emotional. Now, this situation had caused a lot of conflict and anxiety in your life as to why you have gained so much wisdom about certain energies like this, okay? So I do see someone trying to kind of come in into your life quickly, and there is a message, but I feel that you don't trust this message, and I feel that they are being very reckless on how they're communicating um, and very, it's something just feels very quick. Okay. Kind of very, very quick, but you already emotionally detached from this. I feel like because of all the delays and all the uncertainty that this person has brought into the connection. So now change is coming in for you. Okay. Continue on this beautiful journey of yours. It's, it's opening up opportunities, more self-love, more fulfillment into your life. Now I do want to grab the divinely messages. Then we'll get some clarity, more clarity from spirit, which is more of advice and then guided messages from spirit at the end which i love to do because i feel like it brings more light to the reading all right absence i feel like a part of me is missing without you reminiscing i miss our inside jokes daydreaming i am always longing for you and unworthy you're better a person than i am okay Shows that they are coming in very emotional, though. I do want to see their confessions since there is, you know, some um, uh, dishonesty here. So let's see their dark confessions. Let's let's get a little more into it, see where they're coming from here. 
this connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. Now, these cards come out very, very blunt, but how I'm reading this is that this person drives off drama or drives off if they don't get what they want or if they don't if you don't engage with a certain way on how they're being and you're being more wise or more mature it feels like this person gets you know they don't like when people don't engage with the drama that's what i'm getting here too so it's not you're not boring okay virgo's never boring um but i feel like this person is just uh coming off very unstable I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility. Hmm, but they're here to offer you something or at, I don't know. I feel abandoned by you and it's triggering my childhood traumas. I'm finally seeing my worth yet. I still feel unworthy of your love. So I feel like this person by you standing your ground and doing what's best for you is triggering this person. Um, you have certain beliefs and, a, and I feel like something is changing within this connection where they're feeling that change and it's triggering them because you are detaching yourself from this person. But I feel it's because you're seeing something. You're seeing this shadow of this person. So you're protecting yourself from them. And, and this is an energy of not getting too emotionally involved anymore with that Eight of Cups as you already detached in the past. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing there. Now I am going to grab some clarity cards and then I'll grab a, a two oracle cards for you guys. Oops. What do we have for Virgo? Virgo, what do we have? Teamwork brings success. Love that. Be prepared for the unexpected. Great success. Beautiful. I'm telling you, when you're on this hair faint, you see things that you've never seen before. Like there is something here that is like you're getting a big understanding of things now. Things that didn't make sense before, they're making sense now. So very interesting to see this energy. And they are upset. Like where this is leading to is that they're they're like uh, coming in as the king of swords. This is a hurtful energy. Receiving it all. You deserve to receive abundance at full capacity. Believe in your worth and trust that the universe is ready to deliver all that you desire. Open up. Life source. When life comes to a standstill, turn inward. Where's that hermit? Right here. Okay. Turn inward and focus on joy and excitement. Your inner light is what keeps everything alive and moving. And we have a deeper world. Don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance even in dark times will open your heart to the depth of compassion in everyday moments. This reminds me so much of your hermit card, your hermit energy, Virgo. Remember, you're the wisest in the deck, I mean, in tarot, you're a very wise sign. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I hope this message helped and brought clarity to you. Remember to continue to stay on that beautiful path of yours. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.